Hey ladies, how you doing? Okay, my video today is about what we do wrong when we first meet a man in decision making skills, okay? Um, first, let me start off by saying that I just responded to Sergeant uh, Willie's video. And I want to make a disclaimer because I didn't respond because I necessarily disagreed with some of the things he was saying. I just thought that he could have did a better job in, to, in presenting it to us, okay? Um, you know, that's like if somebody cooks you a big juicy steak and you can smell the aroma from outside, you're anticipating the tastiness of the steak, then all of a sudden they hand you the damn steak on top of a garbage can top. You're not going to eat it. And that's what I felt about him. It's all in his presentation. Besides that, he goes off on these tangents that are personal. Okay? You cannot, uh, you can't inspire change if you're taking a personal view from it. He has to talk in generality. And you can't help but feel like he's, you know, oh, as a woman, that he's bashing you when actually he has a lot of good information. So this will be my first and last time mentioning him in any of my videos because I'm all about uplifting us, okay? So back to what I was saying, um, this video is basically about the mistakes that we make as women, myself included. Um, I've learned from my mistakes. I've talked to a lot of men, women, and I found out that we all kind of do the same thing. Okay, first thing first. When you first meet a man and you are initially attracted to him physically, okay, that's only the first part between deciding if this is going to be somebody who you carry on with, okay? Physical attraction is very important, okay? Then you need to pay attention to what he does, okay? If on the first date this man is talking about he needs to borrow twenty dollars from you, that's somebody you need to kick to the curb right from the beginning. If a man asks you out on a date and talking about um we gonna go Dutch, no, you need to kick him to the curb from the beginning. Okay, I said beginning. Okay, don't let it go past another date and another date and another date as most women do. Because we say, oh, I'm just tripping, um, you know, I'm too hard on men or whatever. I'm going to give him a shot. He's just having a bad time. No, because if he was not ready to date you, he should not have asked you out. That is a sign of more things to come, okay? But that, if you go on more than one date with a loser, that's not their fault. It's your fault because he already presented to you what kind his character was he already told you that he don't have his stuff together and you base you you're dating him based on potential he seemed like a nice guy and he got a lot of potential based on his conversation girlfriend potential means he ain't doing shit right now and you need to base a man on what he is doing today not on what he wants to do tomorrow because even his future is determined by what he does today. So you need to look at him and say, if this nigga don't have a high school diploma and he got five baby mamas, that's not going to change tomorrow. So X the whole potential thing, okay? Because if you get in a relationship with this man and six months later you pregnant by him and you became baby mama number six, that's nobody's fault but yours. I can't even be mad at him because he didn't let you know what he was about from get-go. Hmm, you understand what I'm saying? If a man is asking you uh, or coming up with all kinds of excuses, oh, baby girl, let me borrow your car because um, I was going to take you out tonight and um, the homeboy, uh, he took my car and, you know, it got on the flat and then now it's in the shop and now, you know, I, I need about a good grand, a G to get it on out and, you know, unless you want to let me hold a G, I promise you back, baby, blah, 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 blah. Girl, run. Put your tennis shoes on and run. A man should not be asking you for no money. 
unless you guys have been in a relationship for years and years and he's proven himself to you and then he falls on hard times, I can understand a man asking his woman for some money. But a woman he just met or a woman he just dating? No. No. It's not going to happen. Another thing that you guys do wrong or I do wrong too is we talk too damn much, okay? When you go on a date with a man, shut the hell up. Kick back. Ask him some questions. Don't let him ask you every single thing about your life because he's taking notes. Yeah, um, I really like it when a man give me roses and, you know, um, any type of cards or whatever I like to do this and that and that. He does everything perfect for a week because you've already told him. You've written the perfect script. And now this guy has got an Academy Award for the best nigga. But guess what? He ain't the best nigga. He just a nigga. And then six months down the road, you're like, what happened? <laughs> you know, you used to do this. And when we first met, that nigga was acting. If you shut your mouth, a man has nothing but to, no choice but to draw from his own experience, from his own character. Because you have not pumped him full of information for you. Okay? He has to write his own script. And you can base you can base who he is based on what he does. Never judge a man on what he says. Because a man will say whatever he needs to say to get the draw. And if you are a grown ass woman, you already know that. But you continually make the same choices over and over and over again. Then you marry the deadbeat. Six months later, you complain to all your family, he won't get a job and I'm paying all the bills and the mortgage and the car notes and he got my credit jacked up. You knew that when you first met him. So what the hell are you complaining about? This man ain't held a job for more than a week since you met him. So why do you think when you get married, things are going to change? People don't change like that. You need to only judge him on what he is doing. And you need to pay attention to your gut. When you first meet a man, your instincts tell you right away, how it's going to be with him. If the chemistry is there, conversation flowing, things that he says, you know, about X, Y, Z, they kind of trigger these mechanisms inside of us that God has blessed us with. Stop ignoring those. Don't think you tripping. If this nigga sound like a psycho, he probably is a psycho. Don't let it go on too far because what happens is then your emotions get pulled in. And once your emotions is tied up in it, it's a wrap because we're emotional creatures. So now, even though he's a dog, but I love him. Stop it. That's all I'm going to say on that. Stop it. We need to stop bashing men, okay? Stop. Let's stop saying that, you know, ain't no good men out here and da-da-da-da. Now, I did a video recently about how there are 70% single women, which is true, black single women. Nothing I made up, something I found out on several different sources has nothing to do really with black, I mean, well, it does have to do with black men, but at the same time, the fact that we're single parents, those are our choices, you know, because we can close our legs, we can require them to wear protection, that's our fault if we don't do that, right? I mean, you got to agree with me on it, okay? We need to start treating our bodies like temples. We need to know that our time is precious. Don't allow a man to come into our lives and waste our time. Now, I'll make a disclaimer right 